Hi, welcome to Tip Tuesday. My name is Ben. Uh, I'm a developer here at IndieSoft and thought we'd talk about uh, field layouts in, in version 13 and maybe a few quick tips if you've already started to use the field layouts and you want to be maybe a little bit more efficient, uh, then let's look at that. So this isn't meant to be kind of a full training at all in field layouts, but a few quick tips uh, if you're already using these. So the field layouts are available in version 13 on the home layout, uh, equipment layout, order system, the new administration layout, also in the event system. There are options that you can use in all those different places and the interface is shared between all of them. And there's different kind of objects that you can quickly uh, arrange, like the home view. If you go into customize, you can move around, you know, the flow chart and different visual items that you have here, place them in, in different locations. Uh, the equipment layout lets you do the same type of arranging, but you're doing fields that you're moving around in different locations. And then the administration layout has a similar interface but you're rearranging different icons that launch you into different places in the software. But the customized screen that is used by all these different uh, field layout editors uh, is the same. So it has the same type of concepts for any of these. So I thought we'd start with just a few of the basics on, uh, on the alignment of these objects. So let's go to the administration uh, since this is a very kind of simple uh, interface in terms of the objects all being icons and let me just move all of this stuff to available items so we're starting with a blank slate here and let's just add in a few icons here so the first thing that I would note is as you're adding icons in here or objects into your layout notice that they always have a particular uh, layout or alignment to each one of the objects so here I've placed three objects and I'm going to right mouse click or hold down the, the shift and then right mouse click and place them in a group. So that just means all three items I now want to be in a group. Let's call this, I double clicked on it and let's call it test group. I'm going to press enter and save that. So let's just remind ourselves of some of the different alignment options that we have for these, these objects. So this test group itself is aligned to the left horizontally and vertically it's aligned to the top. So vertically, if it was client, it would take up all of this space. Horizontally, if it was client, it would be like this. So if we move this back to the left and top, then now everything is back. So notice when I went and align this to client. Some of these objects now look same, look look odd here. Uh, because the reason for this is these objects are vertically aligned to the client. So I can quickly move those back and align these to top. So I'm just trying to demonstrate uh, quickly some of the different options uh, that you have. So then let's add in a couple more objects here. So notice these are a little bit taller. So I could try to uh, make these a little bit smaller and these a little bit bigger to align, but that might take a little bit of time to kind of obsess on all this. It might be quicker to just hold down the shift key and then change all of their vertical alignments to client and then now everything is gonna resize and have the same type of look and feel. So double checking your alignment is the first tip. Um, the next thing is as you place items in a group like this, notice I've got five items that are in this particular group and the layout direction of this group, if I right mouse click on the object, you can see layout direction is horizontal. You also have the option of aligning things vertically so just right mouse click and change the layout direction to be vertical. And then there's a third option for tabbed and that would create a tab for each item. So whatever is your preference there. Another quick tip is as you're creating groups that have objects like this, notice that 
you can quickly be reminded of the layout direction of a particular group by looking at this icon. So this test group right now is aligned horizontally, and that's why you have these two bubbles uh, in that graphic there uh, aligned horizontally. But if this layout direction was vertical, then you could see this icon is now vertical, or if it was tab, then it would change uh, to that tab type of icon. So that can be a quick reminder of the different groups that you have um, uh, in your layout. So as we exit the close, the uh, customized screen, just be reminded you haven't saved this necessarily to the database yet. Uh, so you always have the option of pressing that X button and quickly reverting back uh, to what was already uh, in your database. So that's a quick run through of maybe uh, some options that you can use uh, in the field layouts. And I hope you enjoy customizing all your screens, make them look uh, just the way you want. Thanks.